Welcome in, everybody, to another episode of ZB's Horsepower Talk. As always, I'm ZB, Zach Brown. Dad is not joining with us this week. He is doing some other stuff, but he'll be back on next week. He sent me all the picks that we need to go over for this week, but it's the Knoxville Nationals week. We are previewing that. It is a whole week, starting Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the qualifying nights, going into Friday and Saturday. You build your points up. We'll get into that. NASCAR is back from their Olympic break. So after two-week break, they are back at Richmond this weekend with the Truck Series and the Cup Series Saturday and Sunday. Uh, NHRA and IndyCar are off, so a little bit of a shorter show for you. So let's dive right in where we always start, the big ones in NASCAR. So NASCAR heading back to Richmond, and the big news for this week that they will be having the red tires and the white tires like they had at the North Wilkesboro All-Star Race. So harder and softer tires, depending on how you want to strategize and use them throughout the race. Hopefully, there will be more of a fall-off in this race than they were at Wilkesboro because people put the one set of tires on and they just drove the entire race with it without any type of fall-off. I think there will be more. Uh, the Richmond is traditionally has a rougher surface than Wilkesboro here with that new pavement. I think you'll see multiple grooves in this race. I think it could potentially be a better race than we've seen in Richmond. Richmond's fallen off in the recent years. I still think you'll see a lot of Toyota dominance. Uh, you, you'll see some uh, Chevy sprinkle in there, but I think Toyota just seems to have the shorter track to intermediate track speed right now. Uh, specifically, the Virginian Denny Hamlin. He is definitely the odds-on favorite for this. Now, we are given power rankings for this. Uh, I think uh, in, in the truck series, I think you'll see a similar race like you saw at IRP. I think that was a fantastic race at IRP, and you saw multiple lanes. It's uh, Richmond's a little bit wider, a little bit bigger track, uh, a little more banking, especially on turns three and four. So you could see the outside line in both of these races coming to fruition and uh, potentially shaking some things up. I think it'll be uh, an, another, an exciting weekend that we've got coming to us. So for fantasy and picks for this weekend, let's dive right into that. I'll give you my picks and, and all that, and then I'll tell you what dad had. We did not really get close to each other on all this. So my starters for this week and NASCAR fantasy, and if you want to use this or you just want to uh, see what I do so you can choose the exact, the exact opposite, go right ahead. I'm being bold on a lot of these because I have used the majority of these drivers quite often this year. So we'll see how it goes, see if it bites me in the butt later on. But my starters for this week, I've got Denny Hamlin, Ty Gibbs, Bubba Wallace, Martin Truex Jr. and Tyler Reddick. I went all Toyotas in this one. Very hard on the Toyotas. And in my garage, I do have Kyle Busch. Now, that's one driver is interesting. He has not raced great this whole year. It's been a mixture of bad luck and just terrible cars. Indianapolis showed great speed. He had a top 10 guaranteed until he ran into some trouble at the end. I think Kyle Busch with this two-week break will be beneficial for that team and everybody in general. And I, I expect them to run strong here in the final stretch before we get to the playoffs. We'll see if that is true. I might eat my words about it, but I, I expect some good speed from Kyle Busch coming up here. But the feature matchups this week, they have Kyle Larson versus William Byron. And Kyle Larson has the odds of minus 160. And I am taking Kyle Larson and the odds over William Byron. I think momentum has a lot to do with it uh, this week. And Larson's dominated in sprint car racing since going on this Olympic break. So momentum, and no matter what you race, is big. Denny Hamlin versus Martin Truex Jr. I I've got to go with the favor, minus 110, Denny Hamlin over Martin Truex Jr., Denny Hamlin is just so good at Richmond and all the Virginia tracks and the short tracks as well. He's a very smart racer, and he will. And Truex, it's tough because Truex is just as a smart racer, but Denny Hamlin just got a knack for Richmond. And Joey Logano versus Chase Elliott. 
Uh, Joey's had some speed, but Chase has been the fastest car overall. Chase is slight favorite over Joey Logano. I've got minus 115 Chase Elliott over Joey Logano. And Ryan Blaney versus Alex Bowman. But Alex Bowman had that little bit of a stretch, but then sucked at Indianapolis. I obviously ran into some, some issues. Uh, I expect him to come off this break a little bit slower. I do like Ryan Blaney over Alex Bowman. The hot pick and the favorite for the race is plus 600 is Denny Hamlin. Oh, he's not the favorite for the race. He's just a plus 600. That's a really good pick to pick for plus 600 then. Plus 450 is Martin Truex Jr. It says to avoid Kyle Busch at plus 2,500. Again, use what you will, but I think Kyle Busch could potentially have a run here towards the, the playoffs and potentially make the playoffs. Uh, it says to avoid Ryan Blaney. I don't really believe that he is a champion of the sport. I think he will uh, be solid in this race, and I expect uh, a pretty s decent finish out and probably a top 10. And the sleeper here is Josh Berry. I, I do say that. He's plus 2,500. I don't think he's going to win, but I think he will have a good showing. Uh, he's been getting better and better as the season's gone on, and we'll see how he uh, races next year as well. All right, and dad's picks this week. Let's kind of double duty it a little bit. So he is, his starters this week are completely different than me. He's mixed in some Fords. So he's got Brad Keselowski, Chris Buescher, Bubba Wallace, Joey Logano, Kyle Busch, and in his garage, he has Austin Sindrick. And a lot of those you've got to use up um, and to not use all of your great drivers. I clearly did not. Matchups are pretty much, I they are all identical to mine. So, yeah, so he's got Larson, Hamlin, Elliott, and Blaney for all that. So, yeah, great minds think alike here. Now, the picks for this week. My pick, it's easy to pick a Toyota because I have them all in the lineup. But the reason I don't have this driver is because I expect him to have a lot of good runs in the playoffs. Like I said before, momentum goes a long way in motorsports, no matter what you're racing. If you're consistently doing well and winning and dominating the way he is, it will transition over. I make it back-to-back -back wins in NASCAR, coming off strong week, two weeks of sprint car racing. I've got young money. Kyle Larson to win at Richmond. And Dan has picked Denny Hamlin for the cup race. And our truck picks. I have the guy just got a little bit short at IRP, and I expect it to be a very similar race to IRP competitively. I've got Christian Eckes once again, and Dad has Corey Hahn. And I think that's exactly who we picked last time. So we'll see how it shakes out. All right, moving on to preview the Knoxville Nationals. If you guys haven't seen any of the sprint car racing that has happened over this past week, it has been absolutely incredible. I-55 once again put on an amazing show. Kyle Larson coming from row 11 the first night, I believe, and row 6 the second night. Coming up through the field do in dominating fashion, winning both races back-to-back -back at I-55. That's what I'm telling you about. It is all about momentum in racing. And he also won, just to put Cherry on top, at Southern Iowa Speedway over Corey Day. Corey Day's been very strong as well. It's been an incredible week of sprint car racing heading into Knoxville. And big shout out to the 69K team of Darren Pittman and Don Kreitz Jr. and everybody that works on that team that has made the travel out there to Knoxville. Get a head start on everybody. On Sunday, they had a little preview race what kind of what they do to kick off the week for the knoxville nationals started on the pole ended up fourth and they consider that one of the hardest single events for racing and dirt racing specifically so to finish fourth to be competitive out there definitely a good sign heading into the knoxville nationals knoxville nationals start this wednesday run wednesday thursday friday saturday you build points as you go through the entire week points are crucial to potentially start up front in the Knoxville Nationals. It is not the easiest to pass on Saturday's final event. So if you can continue to build points through qualifying and in the heats and into the other feature events, you set your up, you set yourself up for success 
for the Knoxville Nationals on Saturday. Obviously, Kyle Larson wins it last year, and he's won two of them now, two of the last three. He probably is the odds-on favorite to win it. They don't have that in any sports books, but I would put money that he's the favorite right now based on his momentum and based on his success he's had at Knoxville. You can never count out Donnie Schatz. Donnie Schatz is essentially the king of Knoxville for these days, especially. Brad Sweet's going to be there. Drivers like Rico Abreu, Sunshine Tyler Courtney, uh, Corey Day, the young kid, can he get it done? You don't just go into the Knoxville Nationals and win, especially if you're 18 years old. Could there be a sleeper like the 69K of Darren Pittman? Can they go in there and upset the entire field? Everything has to go right for you during the week to have a shot. Rarely is it where somebody starts in the very back of the Knoxville Nationals and wins. It happened. It has happened. Steve Kinzer's done it. Doug Wolfgang's done it. It's just harder these days with as much how much competition there is in the field. But it can be done. But likely, if you're going to win it, you need to be starting in the top 10. More than likely. So, what does that mean for this week? What can we expect? A lot of competitive driving. Great racing still. Two lanes will be around Knoxville. You'll be either real against the wall or you'll be hugging the bottom. If you can make it work around the bottom and the bottom is hooking up, that's going to be the way to go. Especially running around the entire, for the entire race, conserving tires a little bit more, not having to run it as hard as you would on the outside. That'll be the key. And then when it comes down to it, how hard are you willing to push it and possibly make some enemies in the meantime? It's the Knoxville Nationals. Everything is up for grab. This is the Daytona 500 of dirt racing, of sprint car racing. So who are we picking? We're just picking the main winner of the Knoxville Nationals. So drumroll, dad. I actually had to change my pick because dad and I had the same pick. So he sent me an email of who he picked. And I want to make this a little bit more fun. We're not going to have the same guy because that's kind of boring. Could this be the time in history that we see the youngest driver ever to claim victory in sprint car racing's capital of the world, the biggest race in all the year? Dad's pick for the 2024 Knoxville Nationals is the young kid from California, Corey Day. My pick for the Knoxville Nationals. This guy has been consistent all year. He's been good. He's top, in the, top five in the points of the World of Outlaws. He's been my dark horse for the World of Outlaws, a preseason dark horse. And he's proven me right. Again, everything has to go pretty much right for you for this entire week. But I like it. I like this pick. I'm going with him. Hot sauce, Giovanni Selzy to win the 2024 Knoxville Nationals. All right, make sure you guys hit like, subscribe, share this entire episode, get it out there, and put in the comments, who do you think wins the Knoxville Nationals this week? this year you're going to go with the favorites of Kyle Larson Rico Abreu Donnie Shantz or you can find some dark horse up in there we'll see everything will play out before our very eyes it'll be a great week of racing excited to see NASCAR back Knoxville Nationals back doesn't get too much better than that so make sure you guys share it comment down below who you think can get victory in any of those races this week and we'll be back with a full slate of action next week with High Limit, World of Outlaws, NASCAR, IndyCar, and NHRA. So until then, guys, we'll see you then.